All right, guys. We're now in daytime mode. And it's daytime, obviously. Uh, let's see if I can get the focus done here. We're gonna just set it. walk out here to the road and take my range finder because I want to see how far those trees were from last night okay and you can see out there now they're way out there I'm trying to zoom in on them here a little bit there's a road runner out there. Just ran up in the grass. That was those trees we were looking at last night. And that's the road we were looking down last night. And right in there is where that reflective thing was. So let's range find that real quick. Okay, it's 124 yards to where that reflective thing was. <clears throat> it's in that grass over off to the left. Uh, down to the end of that road is 307 yards. Okay, looking back this way. The tree line in the very distance back there is 510 yards. So that gives you an idea of how far away that camera will see at night. That's impressive. All right. And then we'll walk back over here and we'll look across my pasture at that post we were looking at last night. There's that post right there we were looking at last night. And that post is 43 yards from here. And those trees back in the very back that we were looking at last night. Those trees are, let me try to, 105 yards, give or take. The trees over there across the creek are. I gotta find them again in this range finder. 145 yards uh, to where that gate is over there, where the backstop is for the rifle range. That's 58 yards. Okay. All right. This is what it all looked like in the daytime. All right, guys. Another update. I just realized this camera has a gain on it I was looking at a video I made just a minute ago while I was out range finding uh, those trees that we were looking at last night and I noticed it was kind of dark and then I remembered reading somewhere that it said something about a gain and I found it on the d-pad the up and down is your gain so let's see what happens here when I do this I can't tell whether it's doing it or not because my eyes are so bad, but Yeah, I'm doing a focus hang on I noticed in the house it definitely had a difference uh, It got really bright in the house 
when I started messing with the game. So that may have been the reason why last night in night vision mode it was so hot looking. But anyway, um, yeah, there's a gain on this. It's on the D. Uh, it's like on the little uh, D switch up on top. The, the up and down toggles your gain. And then uh, left and right toggles your zoom. And we'll toggle on an archery target there. That poor thing's dead. And I'm sorry for the zoom issues as far as focus because my eyes are so bad I can't tell. This is inside the house. There's my girl. How you doing, boo? Hmm? How you doing? Yeah, she's a sweetie. Alright, so... I can't tell if it's working or not. She's looking at me like I'm insane. <laughs> okay, I think I figured it out. The, the gain... You adjust the gain before you start recording because once you start recording, uh, it's not adjustable. So this is kind of dark mode. I'm going to turn the camera off and then I'm going to adjust the gain again. Hang on. Okay, and this is with the gain up high. This is 2 plus. And now I see down in the bottom left hand corner of the actual LED display, there is a, you can see it says 2 plus on there. So, as you can see, it, it got real grainy at high, at, at the high gain. And that's the reason why it looked grainy last night. So hang on just a minute. Okay, that's at negative 2.0 gain. Looking at that carpet. Alright. So, the gain, you, you adjust your gain before you start recording. Okay, this is at zero gain. screaming at me to focus my eyes are so bad though it's one nice thing about having something that's autofocus is it kind of takes care of that problem for you uh, I don't that there's no autofocus on this that I'm aware of oh by the way one thing I've I've been running this thing playing with it all night and all day and it's still got a full charge on it since I charged it up the first time so there's your zoom. <laughs> Come on, back out. You don't want them to see all that dog hair on that carpet. Okay, so, yep, that's zero gain. Let's go back outside and see what that looks like now. Okay, this is zero gain. Okay. Looking out across the neighbor's thing here. All right, okay, that's high gain right there. Looking out. Yeah, let's focus it a little bit. That was part of the deal that I wasn't messing with last night. So, uh, you have adjustable gain on here. You adjust it before you start recording. And, uh, that would explain why it was a little grainy last night in the twilight mode. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and just kind of give you a review of everything I've talked about. It's the Psyonix Aurora night vision camera. And so far I like it. Um, it's got a lot of little features on it that I didn't actually realize were there at first and um, so uh, but basically now that I've kind of familiarized myself with it I'll familiarize y'all with it um, 
there's your on off button here and then here's all your modes okay when you turn it on you're gonna you'll hear a little sound you'll see that little green light come on okay and when you're recording you'll see the little red light pop on right there okay you'll see that I have to take your word for it all right anyway and you turn it back off uh, inside the display here um, on the top left side is your camera mode uh, and then you'll have uh, your clock your timer uh, the time uh, then right here is a compass on top and then your GPS coordinates are on the far top right hand side but I don't have the GPS activated on the bottom left hand side of the digital display you're going to see the game and then the HDR and then it says 30 frames a second 720p uh, and then on the right hand side you'll see the Wi-Fi emblem and the uh, SD card and the battery level. Now you can change this per second. You can change the frames per second, but I hadn't figured out how to do it yet. Um, so <clears throat> I've been looking online to try to find the uh, complete owner's manual, and I had to send an email to Psionics. So because uh, their website really just shows you the quick start guide, which was the guide I showed you in the previous film. Uh, but anyway, so <laughs> that ring right there is how you choose your modes and turn it off. Just like that, and that turns it off. Uh, your record button or your shutter button is this red button here. I think yesterday I said it was a power button. I was mistaken. Uh, your USB hookup to charge the battery is right here and okay your modes are adjusted with this ring right here you have day mode twilight mode and night mode okay and this is your focus ring right here this focuses it and uh, the lens, there's a there's some lens data here, and I'll just go ahead and read this off. The f stop equals 16 millimeters. The f equals one to 1.4 dash 2.0 dash 5.6. And if you look inside, I don't know if you can see it, but in my previous video I could see it, so you, you can go back and look at it. But uh, if you look in there, you can actually see the iris. There's actually a real iris in this. It's not, uh, it's not something digital or electronic. There's actually a real iris in there that, that works like a pupil, you know. So, anyway, that's your focus ring. And it goes from uh, pretty close all the way up to uh, infinity. Uh, I guess that's 0.3 meters because that's the standard measuring standard it's using is an M right there it says meters so uh, <clears throat> one of the cool things is how you it's where your battery and your SD card are located or inside the camera right here you pull this unit out and this is a separate unit and this is where your video uh, display is installed is in this little cube in this little unit which is kind of which could be a good thing there's also a real good o-ring this this goes all the way around this to seal it off and keep the dust and the moisture out but the potential for this the reason I think this is kind of cool is if you ever have a display problem this is sort of created to where you don't you you can actually just maybe order one of these to replace it so if the if this goes bad you can just maybe maybe they'll send you a new one you know I don't know uh, 
this piece here, the eyepiece, kind of snaps off so you can clean this. Uh, there's a little place right there on the bottom that activates uh, the screensaver for the display. You can see if you put that on like that, it'll always it'll be right, it's right there. So when you put your eye up to it, it'll the, the display will come back on. And that was kind of one of the things last night. I noticed the display kept turning off. Was off when I'd kind of pull it up and just kind of glance at it from a distance, and I'd be like, whoa, whoa. you know. And now I get closer and it come on. So that kind of saves your battery, I guess. Um, <clears throat> your battery is spring. Uh, it's under spring tension right here, loaded in there, and it's got a clip that retains it and holds it in. So if you ever need a new battery, you can replace the battery. Uh, you saw me install that yesterday. It's real simple. Just pop that out, slide the battery out, and there's the battery right there. It just slides out, and then you just push it in, and it locks in place. It's spring. It's got a spring load against it to keep it locked in there. And you put that back on, and that's it. Uh, your D-pad, your directional pad here, you've got a set, which is sort of like your menu selector. Uh, you've got uh, left, right, up and down. And um, the up and down is your gain. The, the right and left is your zoom. Is your zoom. Okay, so so far I like it. Um, I I, I kind of didn't. I should have taken a little more time last night to read the instructions, but I didn't because I had some things come up with my family that I had to deal with first, and uh, I kind of got flustered and uh, just forgot to look into that. Um, Last night when we were using the uh, the uh, IR light, this is the IR light I was using. I think it's called an Evolve. I don't know if you can see the logo, it's like inside the, the straps there. But this was the 850 NM light I was using last night. And, uh, I mean, it did an awesome job. I'm going to see if I can find one in, a, in the 950 just to see... Because the 950 is not supposed to be as intense, uh, and I've heard some people say that it doesn't really work well with the Excite 2s, the ATNs. So, uh, but this camera is so sensitive that I think 950 might actually work. I think it's 950, 950 or 900. I'm not sure. So anyway, that's the review so far. Uh, I'm going to take some time to get to know this camera, learn it. Uh, I think a couple of other people have, have got this camera. I'm not going to say their names on my channel because I haven't got their permission. But, uh, uh, oh, and one more thing. Yes, this little adjustment right here is the diopter. That's the diopter to focus the display screen to your eye. Uh, unfortunately, my eyes are really bad. <coughs> uh, I may have to go get Lasix or something. I don't know because it's, it's getting to a point to where it's really annoying me. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, the Psionics Aurora. Um, I mean, that's a nice, compact little camera. And uh, it fits really good in your hand. Um, you can control this one with your, this control with your thumb. And then everything else is up on top where your fingers are. You just have to get oriented with it. And then, you know, get that sucker mounted on a tripod. And, Take it out in the woods and go kill something, right? Okay, guys. I've got to get busy getting another video done here and finished up this video. And then i got to cook supper, so you guys have a good day.